Oh, it's souped up in widescreen as oh, as it yeah. was made. It's actually a European game, so it runs at 50, right? Oh. Um, but I forget. When you forget plug it place. in, it mm -hmm. sets to 60. Like like uh, oh, cool. the, there's actually that's, an uh, option for progressive. I don't know if that's, that's cool. Your control type 2D and 3D. Look, you can actually set it for uh, tank controls. Oh, yeah. 2D style, 3D style. Yep, that is correct. Now, the crazy thing is, I don't recommend it. <laughs> Obviously, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show it off for a bit. What, but the, the non-tank controls? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's meant for camera-based. Yeah. Okay, let's just go ahead and start it up. I don't know if it's going to play the intro or not, but... Gregory House. I found, I found myself, myself walking, walking through, through a deep, deep forest, forest in a thick fog. How did, did I get here? here? I should have been, been home by now. Like overlapping voices there. Suddenly, for male and female. Light before yeah. me. It was the hotel. Do you need a room for the night? My, my. You certainly do look exhausted, don't you? Well, then, I'll get a room ready for you. <laughs> Would you like to speak to Lindsay? <laughs> Would you like to speak to Martha? <laughs> I'm glad Pop is on it. So, what is, this? What is that from? That's uh, Catherine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and re-input our old name here from last year. Oh yeah, was it R.L. Stein? Yeah, we're, we're R.L. Stein trapped in the <laughs> hotel. And yeah, when you when you pick male or female, it cuts out the voice you didn't pick. Right oh, okay. this way, if you don't mind, I'll be happy to show you to your room. I must say, we don't often receive guests at this hour. I'm tempted to play and Perhaps check out this. You've um, somehow managed thinking to about doing it on my own just way. for fun. Or, oh, uh, or maybe Which game? You've just lost your Fatal Framers. Oh, Fatal Framers? Mm -hmm. that the original? Joke. <laughs> no, no, three. Oh, three, okay. three, three, three. Yeah, three. Okay. Yeah, I've, already seen, I've already seen the original, so. Friend, also, Jantha's going to be checking out the original. <laughs> I actually really want to see three. So if you don't do it for stream, I will do it for stream. A realistic I'm, cat portrait above my bed frame. I'm thinking, I'm thinking so I might. Uh, like, I, I'm gonna see how it controls. To dream. Well, that was a real cat. That's bizarre. I had to point it out every time. Come on now. Throw away all them worries. Forget about them. Gonna be repeating myself from uh, last year. <laughs> Just be like, yeah, the intro to this game is really weird and nebulous. What's the deal, bud? What? I always- I've probably asked this before, but what freaking- Don't be embarrassed. You can tell what me. What flag is that? I believe that's what? Swedish. Swedish flag? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, he's a okay. Swedish skeleton, you know. Varg Skeletor. See, my yeah. job is removing lost souls from the living world. It's because that death is neutral. And picks no sides, haha. If you go in and find me, I'll show you the way back. I even got some body you can use. It's a little small, but hey, what you gonna do, right? When you find them all, come see me again in your dreams. You got that? See you later. I'll Wouldn't that be Switzerland? Oh, Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, that's Switzerland. Switzerland is the one that's neutral. Sure. They. Br they uh they did break their neutrality recently. As oh, well. yeah. Well, it's no longer Switzerland. <laughs> yep. So yeah, you. This is the thing about the three D type. It's oh, wow. the exact this looks same. Super clean. Exact Damn. same problem that comes up when you uh play original or I guess remake RE. Yeah. There's no reason not to just have three D control or two D. 
That's well, okay. with the Resident Evil remake, it, it makes you like. It lets you run around zombies with no, like, freaking problem. Yeah. So, like, they just... You can run circles around them. It's like, that's not the way the game was designed. My favorite thing is, uh... The song, actually! <laughs> if you if you click on the door, it's like, hey, no, 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 you want to hit the knock button. James? Is that you? Please don't tease me anymore. You know, on, on uh, our overclocked PS2 here, this game looks really, really good. It looks really clean. I need to talk to you. It's 90% texture work. Yeah. So there's not very yeah, many... Like, uh, minimal, minimal polygons, but Minimal that's fine. polygons, uh, all texture work, so it looks really clean when you upscale yeah, it. Yeah, as long as it's like you just up, up res it a little bit. Lobby, just go straight and turn left at the end of the hall. So this cat wants to talk, but we do not have the key to their room. I'm like certain I saw a uh, preview of this game in a game magazine 20 years ago. Years ago. Um, if you want to know something really funny, the key uh, the this door? game is very clearly localized in American English, right? Yeah, in English, yeah. But there are times where the subtitling is uh, European English. So there's a there's a moment we're going to point out later where the dialogue is different from the text. From the text, that's funny. I wonder why they ended up not choosing to localize it here. Or... He was once a beautiful creature with fine silk. I'm gonna say, I don't know, timing difference. Then one stormy night, long ago, someone sewed everything shut. Eyes, mouth, ears. Oh, what a horrible thing! Since then, he's been a nasty beast that attacks anyone who draws near. As the manager of this hotel, I simply cannot allow you to have that key. Oh, but it's two. Well, then, it's twelve thirty. About time I made the yeah, rounds of the hotel. And the game is telling you that every NPC in the game has a routine they follow. Yeah. I, man, I love games they... that are like super intricate like that, that have like must characters go about their daily lives and you have to figure that out. The counter. Yeah, if you walk too fast, it'll be like, no, 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 you gotta wait for him to leave the room. You gotta wait. Yeah, everybody follows a set schedule. Um. Oh, speaking of oh, texture work. a first person perspective. How nice that looks, even upscale. Yeah, that looks really clean. Room anyway. Guide. First floor, yeah, I guarantee you that was illegible in the original. They probably, it's it, the thing that happened with the three DS games where they're like, no, it needs the detail so yeah. that you can actually look at everything. You know, I, uh, off stream, I, I compared this game to uh, Cap if Capcom made Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, rated but, uh, G you know what? You know what? Actually, um, it might be inspired by. What's that? Uh, Maniac Mansion. Real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hit the select button, and now we can actually tell where everyone is. But no one's in the game right now. Freaking classic. It's definitely uh, Maniac Mansion combined with Capcom's. Uh, it's got the styling for enemies that hunt you. So it's got a freaking Spencer estate layout. Yeah. <laughs> the lobby in the front. We yeah. meet at last. It's got the foyer. My name is Neko Zombie. Patrick Cat. Do you think I'm scary? I don't need your sympathy. <laughs> Shakes head. <laughs> Stoic nod. Are you ready, R.L. Stein? The guests in this hotel are planning to keep you trapped here for all eternity. Yes. So they're not going to give up their souls that easily. 
so... You have to know their weak points if you want to get those souls back. First, you've got to scope out their weak points. It's true, Pops. Pop says no meth in, the, in my lobby! <laughs> <laughs> Gregory's about to teach us about the Prindle. The Prindle. <laughs> Do you want to listen to Am or Fum? Fum. <laughs> <laughs> This is the OG PS3. It looks great. Don't talk about the OG PS3. I had one of those. Speaking. Go out into the hall and look through the keyhole. Oh yeah, peeking. Mm-hmm. This also kind of kind of a stealth game. This game. Yeah, this game is got a lot of stealth mechanics, which I'll get more into a bit later. But the big one is peeking. Um, honestly, I think the map is a little overpowered, just because it bypasses a lot of the mechanics. Oh, because you can see where enemies uh, like placements there's, are. There's there's no penalty for pausing the game, looking at the map, and seeing the exact geolocation of every character on the game. There's no reason not to do it. And like, there's nothing in the game that prevents you from seeing it. So like, no matter what status effect you have, you'll always know where everyone is. You'll have to figure out on your own what my favorite. Um, but I'm like, imagine there's no uh, version of this game without map. If you tilt the camera too quickly, you'll creak the door, in which case enemies oh, okay. will notice enemies that you're there. Alerted. So you gotta yeah. very lightly tap the analog the stick. stick. Yeah. Alright, can you, can you take a guess? I've already got the answer in my head. Um, I didn't read all of it, but they want dessert, so... A dessert that's not too cold. So like but not hot maybe. either. Chocolate, maybe? You got it. Is it, ban a dessert is it bananas? And not too cold. Chocolate. That's it. Here, I'll give you this. Is this? I picked this up somewhere a long time ago. Here, you can have it. I don't need it. The only crazy thing about Gregor Horror Show is I'm like, I feel like there's lore just bursting at the seams waiting to be discussed and talked about, but this game yeah. has no follow up for it. Must find. And yeah. does it give you anything about it? Guests in this Unfortunately, hotel. another of a uh, cool IP that Capcom is sitting on probably won't won't ever return to. I don't know if this is Capcom. Well, like well, I know I, I know this, Capcom I this made Capcom. the game, but um the the artist the character designer owns oh. the right. Oh okay. Souls who live here are made of drifting hearts and faded hopes. You'd better be careful, or you might end up the same. To escape from their inescapable pain, the residents of Gregory House have chosen a life of endless wandering. They love to see other people suffer. You'd better look out for yourself. They took the lost souls without permission from the original owner. Who was the original owner? There's no need for you to worry about that. Yeah, don't worry about that. It's a place to soothe your tired soul, yes, but you'll find out soon enough just what kind of place this is. So, how are you planning to deliver those souls back to death? Hmm, I see. You're going to meet him in your dreams? The song is, uh, the song playing in, in the background. Case, you should sleep on the bed in your Reminiscent of Resident Evil. And the souls over to death. A lot of these songs feel like they're ripped straight out of, uh, Resident Evil. This is Capcom at their, like, their high time, too. Yeah. All right. Gotta get our first nap in. Man. Oh. You know what I, I, I didn't mention after we finished Fable Frame? What's that? What I was thinking about. Oh, don't worry about the borders of the screen, by the way. Oh, it's just, uh, just very uh, cinematic. That's what's going on here. Uh, I was gonna say that um, how impressive it is that a game from like 03 has a has escort mechanics that don't suck. 
Thanks a lot. Isn't that the truth? Yeah, I'll stamp your yeah. card for you. Just keep I'm just thinking of any game where it's baggage. escort mission, but the escort mission is overpowered, like the uh the, the dude you're escorting. Whenever you get one, yeah. go to sleep like clears the screen. You oh true. Good luck there, Those are the buddy. escort missions I actually like. Cause uh, yeah. I, don't, I don't know if you've played any of the Yakuza's where you have a teammate. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm thinking of any time you could get Nishiki to brawl with you. Yeah. Those are so good and you don't They're have to wait for them. Like, I'll just do the chicken job for you sometimes. Something important to tell you. Come to my room when you wake up. Neko zombie. Could be. Did you sleep well? I've got to talk to you about you know what. Do you know Catherine? Do you know Catherine? <laughs> it's time to pull some leather uh, levers. Time for a blood mm -hmm. test. Oh, I remember this. This is so good. Oh. Catherine loves God. to draw blood from people that she word. doesn't like. She lives two doors down from me in room 104. I think I'm going to go set up the pizza to cook right now. Go for it. We just got to so tail I'm Catherine good. for a little bit. I've, I've seen this. <laughs> I heard that. Comically large syringe. So that child is collecting souls. I think it's time for a blood sample. I guess it won't be that easy to collect the souls after all. I'll give you some hints about how to go about getting people's souls. Alright, we don't need those hints. Because we are Game Master Pros. But there is some more lore hidden behind those text boxes. This is so awesome. James, you nasty child! Stop throwing your garbage Rubbish. on the floor! What if someone stepped on it and had an accident? Where is that brat? James! They're just here having to watch this go down. All of your messes. They got their comedy routine down. I'd say they'd be uh, comedic finalists. I already know where to go for the next bit, but I'm curious because I don't remember if any of the doors are open yet. <laughs> You're R.L. Stein, the one who's collecting souls, aren't you? Oh, that face makes me want to do terrible things to you. I think I'll make your job harder by running away. <laughs> okay, goodbye, Catherine. I'm just gonna check the library to see if it's open. Fine, I already know where to go. Okay. What a twist, you're the monster in this horror game. Yeah, everything is escaping from you. You gotta collect souls. So we're just gonna come over here to the trash bin, the food bin. Uh, you missed right when it came up, but James, the, the little kid, throws the banana on the ground. And, uh, Gregory's like, stop throwing your garbage on the ground. And the text just says, rubbish. <laughs> I'm like, that's a European translation that's if I've ever yeah. seen one. <laughs> I wonder what the deal with that is. That's some why localization they, why, if I've ever seen it. Why do they like using <laughs> rubbish over garbage? Hey! This is all rubbish. What are you doing? Okay, well, we're gonna do. I'm gonna switch to the banana. Uh, James tells us about how the banana, Catherine will slip on it a lot. I'm gonna push him out of the way a little bit and just fucking. 
And they're way right here behind this pillar. Pray that James gets bored <laughs> and goes away. <laughs> Wait, they can't see me. Okay, that's Gregory. If I remember correctly, he won't pick it up anymore. What was the word? Uh, Guests. Guests, yeah. At, at the hotel, tell you why they're here. None of them really, but if you stick around, you can actually hear a bunch of dialogue. Uh, in certain spots, obviously. The, well, there's a few characters who are like, I'm the wayer of souls, and I can see what other people are thinking, or why they're troubled. Mm -hmm. Oh! That's our cute. Why did she fall forward? I think she would fall the other way. Yeah. Easy clap. You won't be using this. Somebody could easily make a, another game like this. Time for a game. big snooze. Good job. You're the monster in the survival horror. If she gets you, this is wiggle bottom. Needle time. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. My soul. It's gone. That kid must have taken it. Now I'm really oh, angry. <laughs> Oh, the humanity. You'll be, uh, taking into a horror show. What can you do about it? Simple. Just run away. No oh, one the huge last humanity. thing. Yes. Around here, the power of your beliefs is everything. <sighs> if your mental gauge, the strength of your mind, I like that uh, UI for your health. The health, it looks so good. You'll be able to escape from this place. What's that? It's also I very of the era. For last? It looks like your health yes. in a platformer. So. Get plenty of sleep, make use of herb type items, refresh your mind by mm -hmm. reading. You get green you get green herbs and red oh, herbs in this game? You get green herbs and red herbs and even yellow oh, yeah. herbs. So whenever you're carrying a soul, it'll resonate with your mind huh. and make it stronger for a while. That means you have to consider when you're going to hand a soul over to death. Also, when you're starting to lose your wits, use an herb item to restore your mental power. Plus, by reading a good book, yes, you can actually increase your mental gauge. <laughs> good life tips. This is good life tips. I'm getting like I'm nostalgia to, to like. All right. Uh, You'll be going the like judgment boys. So yes. first way wave, wave of like first party boy. games that were like platformers from this era. Do you know Everyone's name? favorite character. Judgment! Oh my god! <laughs> judgment! I love this guy, dude. Judgment boy came to the hotel to judgment pass boy. final judgment on troubled hearts. Came to pass final judgment on troubled hearts. You did a good job today. Tell him to stop. Now, go back to your room and get some rest. Tomorrow's another big day. Luckily, this uh, beginning bit's really, really easy because Catherine's the only aggressive enemy. Uh, if you sit around in your room... Y'all hear Come some things. On now. Give it up. <laughs> Throw away all them worries. Oh, it's you. Did you manage to pick up any song? Just the one. So, shall I? Take <laughs> from us and then we uh Good wake up. Luck there, buddy. Judgment Boy is a good opening uh, enemy just because it's like the first fight where the game just lets you do whatever you want. Nice. Dude's a Pokemon and just says his, just says his name. <laughs> yeah, that's, that is.
Well, then. I'd better start getting ready to receive the new guest. <laughs> By opening the doors to the rooms on the ground floor. All right, there's a lot to do here. Uh, if I remember how to sweep the room correctly. I somehow feel full of hope. Come on. That was refreshing. It looks right. like you have a uh, book that you can interact with on the table. Do you know oh, my name? Judgment! <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, you're that new guest, aren't you? R.L. Stein, mm. isn't it? Now that I look at you more closely, I see you've got an awful lot on your now mind. Now that I look at you more closely. If you ever want my help, just bring a symbol of your problem. Bring a symbol of your then problems. I'll give you one of my special judgments. Judgment! Judgment. So the only way to get us all off of him is to actually bring up our own personal issue. Huh. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, sneak into Catherine's room, grab a erotic magazine, steal her yeah, shit, okay. and then leave. And then I believe we're going to sweep counterclockwise at this point. Don't worry about it. This is all part of the plan. Is Gregory here? No. That means I can grab the herb behind the counter. He also unlocked the door to his room. Hopefully James isn't in here. He'll kick me out. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Let me... Day one, Cloudy. I decided to start keeping a diary. One day, when I'm rich and famous, it's gonna be a bestseller. Here I go. Grandpa's getting a new room ready. I guess someone's coming tomorrow. So I'll have to look inside to see what kind of idiot is staying with us this time. I gotta look at the new guest today, named R.L. Stein, apparently. <laughs> the face looks a lot older than I imagined. Now, how can I make our guests feel more at home? This is going to be fun. This is uh, the little boy, James? That's James. Uh, James is the best character. Surprise, he can free. sit still long enough to, to write a diary. Write a diary. It's the most surprising thing. <laughs> Judgment boy going to resolve our crippling depression. <laughs> He's doing it for our own good. Well, he's going to judge our coupling for depression. We're going to have to solve our Judge depression man! ourselves. <laughs> we're, we're just going to tell him that we're just suffering a lot lately, and he's going to yell, Judgment! It's not going to make us feel better. Just walking around and picking up everything important to the playthrough, like uh, expired cheese and an apple. Oh. Ow. I didn't know you could just, like, get in there. Oh, you know. Look at that, like, dinosaur bone on <laughs> the freaking... Been... Uh, the, the chef's area. Cut cleanly in half, too. Objectively boring, not a single patient for me to examine. Ah, shit, she's gonna leave. <laughs> At least sleeping gave us hope. Should sleep more often and for longer. Real. Blue bottom. I'm pretty sure that's a. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a symptom of depression. <laughs> Captain left. Time for the next step, which is. Where is Gregory? Hi, James. Yeah. Oh. This game, yeah, is definitely giving me, like, nostalgia to, like, the launch window games of, of this era. I'm like, I guess what we could do is Luigi, actually just Luigi's keep... Luigi's Mansion. Shoot. Pikmin. Big Pikmin vibes. Yeah. Something about, I don't know. Got kind a of pretty big nostalgia for that time. I got my GameCube pretty early, but, uh... 
wasn't no. literally it wasn't literally the when it launched. It uh honestly like I still think boy. about the day I went and got Crash Bandicoot for the PS2. Which uh, Crash game was it? The Wrath of Cortex. Which oh, Wrath of Cortex. I'm so very certain is it actually a good game, but you know yeah, that didn't stop uh, me from enjoying it. Because I think by that time they already changed devs. Like mm -hmm. it, it left uh, Naughty Dog's hands. Or wait, uh, no, Vi Vicarious Visions. I forget. I think it moved to Vicarious Visions is the thing. No, I think Vicarious Visions already had it. Because I remember hearing Cortex voice actor say Vicarious Visions in like... In like, uh, Crash Team Racing or something. Oh no, don't tell me she went to the lounge. But anyway, uh, yeah. I, that game, I think, is okay. actually called, uh, Crash 4 in Japan, if I'm not mistaken, which is funny. Because now because there's an actual Crash now 4. There's, now there's an actual proper sequel to... Yeah, those are normal-ass regular green herbs. I definitely feel like a lot of these rooms are taken directly from... Like, layouts are taken from the, the Spencer estate. Okay, well, she's not in here, which means we can actually raid her shit again. Ah, fuck. Uh, a second time of raiding her things. You don't have a like a limit on inventory, do you? We do. Okay, you do. Means I gotta. I'm paying attention to the order I'm okay, picking is, things up. Is there an item box? Yes, and it's in our room. Oh, okay. Catherine should be in the kitchen right now, which means I'm fine. Um, it's almost gonna be. Well, is there music coming from that front door? Uh, Catherine's enjoying her food. Oh, that's the like dining table. Yeah. Anytime you enter this room, you actually bolt the door behind you. That's a bookshelf. Well, we're, we're just storing items for later, nothing to worry about. Inventory management honestly keeps me sane at night. <laughs> I dude, I like I like uh, inventory management. Dude, did you see that somebody actually finally made a game that is just RE4 uh, RE4 uh, attache cache the game? And all right, I did see that actually. Okay, we're gonna stop any playing it. I was just like, I remember Pat talking about. Somebody making uh, attaché case the game, the video game, like for years and years. There's the, I believe it's Jack Casey, which is an indie game that never got finished. Ah, uh, how nice to see you. And what can I do for you? Huh? Oh, oh, where did you find that book? You don't say! You found it in Catherine's room? This is quite <laughs> the, the, the naughty book. The naughty book. I'm afraid I'll have to, gonna have to confiscate it. It would be wise not to make <laughs> too much of a fuss. Guard it with my life is the other dialogue choice. You know. I think you should read Look something. Look at the bottom says, "Don't check my FF14 inventory, though." Monka W. Not this. <laughs> uh, same. Same. Look at the bottom. This book. Mine is if you're always bursting at the seams. I suggest you try, try the, the first floor, first floor library. library. I'm sure. This cutscene makes more sense when you're not in the library already. Oh, because you just happened to have caught cut. You just happened to have caught him while he was in here. Yeah, but either way, when you finish that text box, this book appears, and it's the self-help book. Oh, wow! Weird, really crazy. Are, we really are working on the working on our depression, perhaps as well. Hope. Judgment. You're carrying a self-help book, aren't you? 
Okay, well Jim then, boy. it's time to judge which path your future will take. You're a bright young man who's accidentally wandered into a hotel from another dimension. There's only one way to get back to the real world. You must collect lost souls. But the hotel is full of danger. You can't run and you can't hide. <laughs> the lost souls. So what do you do? Just try and stop me. Alrighty then. Let's ask the scales of truth. Which will it be? Money or love? Only like the scales Saturday know for sure. Voice acting. Judgment! Here we go! You know, I've brought it up before, but... Hey! In the end, no matter how tough things got, you never gave up. At last, you followed the path you had created for yourself and found your way back to the real world. And that's the truth, see ya? You bravely faced your fears and followed the correct path. I'll Good give you a fabulous prize! Alright, that's all. Judgment Boy will always come to you and like anytime you ask him for something, he'll bring up only things that actually happen to you. So I believe if I walk up to him right now and try to talk to him again, he'll bring up something interesting. Do you know? No, okay, not yet. He's got some interesting things to say about the main character, basically. Okay, cool. Uh, yep, just stashing more I items. Poison. I had two poison. Did you lose some hope? Or yeah, it's Come it doubles as your health and your timer. It it's a timer, Throw right? Mm -hmm. Uh, and there's status effects. Oh, it's you. Did you manage to pick up any souls? All right, let's see if we can't speedrun night two. So you only brought me one, huh? Shall I take it? Uh, I've brought this up before, but the main hey, character so male voice yeah, is actually the same voice actor as Gregory. Well, and the oh, main yeah, yeah, character yeah. female voice Even is the chat? voice actress for a for the other main villain who hasn't oh, shut up yet. Okay. Oh. Good luck there, buddy. That or Catherine, I don't remember which. But you also know them, uh, Gregory, as Master Asia from G Gundam. Uh, but yeah, that's awesome. What what range? <laughs> Get mad. Get mad. Get really mad. Get so mad it drives you mad. Gregory, that child that just moved in is so adorable. My Catherine, you certainly know quality when you see it. <laughs> Oh, I've just got to get some of that blood. Now, now, let's not be hasty. <laughs> so lively and spirited. Oh, your mother will be thrilled. Indeed, she will. But remember, Catherine, neither dead nor alive. Catherine, are you listening to me? Don't worry. This time I'll make sure there's no escape. <laughs> Spirited. All the way through. But how long will I be able to hide this secret from Mama? <laughs> Can't you just be quiet? I'm so hungry. Oh dear, oh dear. Why can't you just be quiet? You're upsetting our guest. I hope you can 